Good morning. Good morning. Don't forget we have dinner tonight. Reservations at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So tell me how this works. I don't know. I close my eyes, I open them, same as you. Let's just start at the beginning. No. Rex, help! Let's start it right now. I understand you've gone back to work. I've got you working with a partner. Detective Brent, New guy. over here. Vega. Witnesses. And then what? Then I go home. Did she start redecorating the house after the accident? Right after the funeral. And then what? I wake up. I gotta go. And this has been happening since the accident? Yeah. What's the purpose of the rubber band? Just to help me keep things straight. Green is Rex's favorite color, and uh, I wear a red one when I'm with Hannah. We come up with all sorts of ways to get through the loss of a loved one. But your mind, it simply created an entire reality where your wife survived in one and your son in the other. But you have different cases in each. The camera on that building, go see if it caught anything useful. Different partners in each. Kidnapper takes the girl to Waverly Park a lot by the docks. Meaning you can't tell whether you're awake or asleep at this very moment. I'm, I'm awake with my wife and I close my eyes, I open them, I'm awake with my son. Well, I can assure you, Detective Britton, this is not a dream. What? It's exactly what the other shrink said. There is a house built out of stone. Did she tell you why she wants to move? She says it's too hard to live with the empty room upstairs. And yet, you're determined to stay there. This is a place where I don't feel alone. The thing is, for me, the room upstairs isn't empty. 611, wait room. Why are we here? I had a dream about it. Or I'm having a dream. Why does it matter what was parked in 611? A hunch. It's expected that these sorts of details will begin to cross over. Morning, detective. You begin working on one case, a murder here in reality, and then suddenly you begin working another case, a missing child, there in your dream. There's no kidnapped child. There's no car in a parking lot. I don't know that that's true. If it isn't, then there's a kidnapped girl who needs my help. Please! Well, your brain should be resting. You're using it to hold up a detailed alternate reality, a moment of panic. Anna? Anna? Of confusion. I don't know where you are. That's just the tip of an iceberg. I'm not sure what's going on. I can help. But not if you don't let me. Yes. I still see my wife and my son. So if you're telling me that the price of seeing them, of feeling them, of having them in my life is my sanity, that's the price I will happily pay. Trust me, when it comes to letting one of them go, I have no desire to ever make progress.